Hey guys, it's me, Lighted Coasters here, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to import your No Limits 2 coasters into Roblox. Please note that you need No Limits 2 Professional to do this, so if you do not have it, you sadly cannot do this. Let's get started. So first, you want to open up your editor and open up the, the park file that you want to import. So, let me open this coaster. Once you've loaded your coaster, you can see here's mine right here. It's just a coaster all up. So you want to go to the professional tab. When you're in the professional tab, you want to hit export track spline. When you click on this, click center of rails, not editor. So you can change the distance between points. I recommend leaving it at default and then you hit OK. You then just name it. Make sure you choose your save system, wherever you want to save it. You hit save and then what you got to do is you go to your Roblox studio and make sure you have a game set. I'll go to base plate. So now what you need to do is you need to go to your file explorer and go to where you opened that document. So you can see mine right here, ADST. You don't want to open it by default. You want to hit open with notepad. Once you open it with notepad, you can just select all copy and now you don't need this anymore so you can close this and you can close your downloads and now you need to make a script delete this little default script and pop paste it gave you you see these are all your track segments now you're going to want to open the no limits to two no limits two to roblox plugin this will be linked in the description of the video and hit import you open this you can just move it like that so this is your scale, 4 is to Roblox scale, 1 scale would make it like no limits, which would be really small for Roblox, so I recommend leaving it default. Distance, this will be the same distance you put in when you exported it from no limits. Speaking of, I can close that now. So, since I exported with 0.5, that's what I would leave. You hit set track, load from script, make sure you have your script that has the cursor layout selected, hit accept, and then import. So now, you have your layout bricks. Also delete the script now. <clears throat> will be named script import, so you can just rename it to what you need to name it. And every little track segment will be numbered. We need to do track layout using something like Coaster Tool Plugin. Just hit select children and be right click. Rename it track. Oops. But I don't need that because I use Hammerhead C frame, which is a really good C frame. I really recommend it. So, that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed and found this useful, if you want more Roblox coaster content, let me know because I make quite a bit of Roblox coasters. I'll show a few on screen. So, hope you enjoyed. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.